Hello Divination and welcome. We have a five part mini series for you. How to create an elegant wedding website with Divi. Throughout this tutorial, I'll be using the visual builder and you get to see me build this website step by step behind the scenes. The goal of this mini series is to inspire you and show you the power of Divi. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to build this website. This is part four of our five part mini series. In this tutorial, we'll show you step by step how to integrate the automatic Divi testimonials into your guestbook page and customize it for that purpose. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to come over here to this URL. Now the link to this website is provided in the show notes below. Scroll all the way down until you find the details on how to purchase it. So this is the, the button. So it costs about $16, which is 12 pounds in the UK. So go ahead, purchase it and download it. Now I've gone ahead and purchased it and I've downloaded it onto my computer. Now that we have our plugin downloaded, the next thing we would normally do is to upload it onto our website. But before we do that, we need to make some modifications to one of the files in the plugin folder. So first of all, you need to come over here to the folder and double click it to, to unzip it. So I've already done that. I'm gonna come over here into my, into my folder. So the file we need to make uh, modifications to is the form.php. So I'm gonna open this with a text editor. So the one I use is Atom, but you can use any text editor. In fact, you can even use this uh, normal text editor that comes by default with Mac. So I'm gonna go ahead and open Atom because that's the one I use. And by the way, if you wanna use Atom, it's free. Okay, so I have all my code open here. The fields that we need to change are the job title, the company name, and the company URL fields. So let's come over here to job title. I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna paste what we need to name it to. And now we've changed that job title to family, family or friend of. Next, we need to replace the company name with role at the wedding. And then finally, we need to replace where it says your company URL to your personal website. And then finally, we can see here it says, please enter your company or personal URL. Let's change that. So we're going to replace it with enter your personal website URL, e.g. google.com. Okay, so once you're done with that, go ahead and save this. Okay, so our modifications are done. Let's go ahead and save this file. So I'm going to come over here to file and click save. Okay, so now that I have my file updated, what I'm going to do next is to delete this original plugin that I downloaded because I don't want to get mixed up. So this is where I updated the, uh, the new plugin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress. Okay, so now that it's compressed, it's now ready to be uploaded onto our WordPress website. So let's head over there and let's do that. So on our website here, I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. Click on upload plugin, choose file. Now my file is on my desktop. So I'm just going to come over here and double click and click install now. I'm going to click activate plugin. Okay, and we can see here there's an update. So you might as well go ahead and do that. I'm going to click update now. Okay, so now our plugin has been updated. We can see it has been added onto our menu. What makes this plugin really cool is the guests can share their experience at the wedding, they can fill in the form, and an email will automatically be sent to the website owner. So to make sure the email gets sent to the right place, come over here to Divi Testimonials, hover over here and go to Settings. Now in Settings, you need to add your email address. So I'm just gonna add mine here. So all notifications will be sent to this email. So after you've done that, go ahead and click on save. So let's say you want to add a new testimonial manually. So to do that, you'd come over here to add new testimonial. And then you can start off by entering the person's name. So I'm just going to add a name and I'm going to paste some text in here and then job title. I'm just going to put guest. I'm going to leave the URL blank. And then for the company name, I'll just put Mac. Now, the one thing that you can also do, which I forgot to mention throughout these steps, is to also add a featured image. So you can come over here and select a featured image. So I'm just going to choose this one here, set as featured image, and then click update. 
Although we can add these testimonials manually, the most exciting part is this can be done automatically by the guests or whoever wants to leave a testimonial. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to do that. Okay, so what we need to do next is to add our form onto our website. So what you could do is you can add the form on your existing pages in a, in a section or you can create a brand new page and add the form. Now the form is going to work with a short code. So let me show you how to add this short code. So I've gone ahead and created a page called testimonials, as you can see here. Next, what you need to do is to use the div builder and add a new single row. And in that row, we need to add a text module. So I'm going to click on text and then I'm going to paste my short code. So the short code is DUT. Go ahead now and save and exit. That short code is what shows the actual form. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on update. And we're going to do a quick preview of this page. So I'm going to click on view page and there you can see that we have our form. So when people fill in this form, our testimonial will be automatically saved. Now let's go back to our dashboard. Now what you could also do here is to add some categories. So if we come over here to testimonials, we can actually add categories. So I've clicked on category. So at the moment I have guests, so you can actually add a new category called bridesmaids. I'm just going to add that as a slug and click on add to category item. So this helps you now segment these testimonials as they come through. So what we need to do next is to set up our automatic testimonial module. So let's go back to our page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click all pages, and then I'm going to select testimonials, click on edit, and then I'm going to insert a new row, single column, and then I'm going to insert our automatic testimonials. And we can see here the module has been installed right here. So I'm going to click on it. And then in our settings, we're going to now customize this. So testimonials number, I'm going to set it to four. And then over here on the testimonial layout, we need to make sure that it's standard DV4 column because we're going to have four testimonials here as we stated right here at the beginning. Now let's go to the design tab. So I'm going to click this design tab. So let's come over here to the quote icon color. And we're going to add our customized color in here. Next, we're going to add some custom CSS in the advanced tab. Now th what this custom CSS is going to do is it's going to style our testimonial. So I'm going to paste this in the um, main element. Now, if you'd like to follow along, this could be found on our post, which I've linked in the show notes below. Okay, so pretty much we are done with the automatic testimonial module settings. What will happen now is the testimonials will now have a gradient background color that matches the other pages on your wedding website. I'm going to go ahead now and save and exit. Click update. So let's take a look at this page. So you can see here, I have one testimonial. That's because that's the one I added first manually. Now, in order for these to show up, what you need to do is to fill up this, fill in this form, and then these, this will be populated with your four testimonials. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we post new videos similar to what you've seen today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.